So, I mean, we got to talk about it. You're a major winner. That's right. Um, In a playoff, too. A long playoff. Right? <laughs> Against some other, like, I mean... MB is like the best putter in the world, yes. right? Like, uh, so like it's robotic. <laughs> I mean, I think at the time she wasn't world number one at the time yeah. uh, when I beat her, but she had been world number one mm. for a long time. I think she had six or seven majors under her belt. She had won the Olympic gold in Rio, and I was there. It's like my eighth, ninth season mm-hmm. on tour. hadn't had a win yet. Um, at any level as a professional golfer. Uh, so it was no question about who the underdog was. <laughs> but you won. You have that trophy. Yes. Uh, that uh, I'd always said before, like when I walk into my home at, like, at home in Florida, I don't really want it to look like a golfer's place. Like if someone walks in, like, you know, they, they wouldn't guess like yeah. what I was doing. I'm like, I don't want any golf stuff out. But yeah, that trophy is uh, for sure on display. Yeah. Tell, so tell me about that week. Where did you guys play? Um, I mean, how were you feeling going into the week? Like, I, I want to, I mean, you can yeah. nerd out on this. Like, <laughs> you know. So um, it was the A&A Inspiration. And mm-hmm. I played in Palm Springs, the Dinah Shore course at uh, Mission Hills. Uh, the event... I think this year now in 2022 is like the 51st year okay. uh, that that event is there. So it's yeah on the women's side, it's really the it's one event, event with like the the longest standing traditions. Mm-hmm. Like we don't have Augusta, but that event has kind right. of been as close as we get uh, on the women's side. So even even before my win, if someone asked me my favorite tour stop, I always said there. And yeah. like people now are like, oh, of course you're going to say that because you won. But I'm like, no, I actually have always loved that place. It's Palm Springs, uh, end of March, just perfect time of the year. Uh, weather is so good. Course just always fit my eye. I tend, like the, the fairways tend to be quite narrow with mm-hmm. thick rough. And for some reason, I always hit it straighter there off the tee than any other week. Yeah. I just got so kind of focused in that week and always loved the greens mm. and always putted well there. So I think I had maybe like three top 20, top 25s, uh, at least in that major leading up to my win there. And uh, then that season so this was 2018 two weeks before we played in phoenix and i finished almost dead last after two rounds like i missed the cut by i don't know how many Mm. i i was just i was playing terrible my coach flew in from sweden that weekend to kind of start our major prep and i mean he was planning on watching me in phoenix that week then we're gonna uh you know do some work uh, after but Right away, that whole weekend when I missed the cut in Phoenix, we probably spent like eight hours on the driving range Saturday, eight hours on the driving range Sunday. We were grinding so hard. I'm like, okay, I need to get back to where I'm actually somewhat in control of the golf ball. Right. And then two weeks later, um, I stood there as a major champion. So it was, I mean, it's just funny. I mean, that just shows how quickly this game can kind of turn around. Mm -hmm. Um, And... Going into the week, like I, I start, then I, play, I played another event the week in Southern California the, when, the week before, and I really felt my game was trending in the right direction. My coach flew home, uh, so he wasn't there the week of uh, the, the major championship, but you know, I felt really good mm-hmm. about the game early in the week, like Monday, Tuesday, practice rounds. It was like, it felt kind of scary good. I'm like, this, like, I said, like, I, I feel so good about how I'm hitting it now. I just want to start playing, like, right now. Right. Before I lose this again. Yeah. And then it's easy to get your expectations up when you feel that good about your game. So I remember, like, Pro-Am Wednesday, I didn't play as good. And I feel like that, that almost helped me because that kind of mm. took, like, it kind of brought the expectations down a little bit again. Then just went out and... Uh, Thursday started the week with I think it was a 65 seven under and yeah. then I was in the lead from Thursday onwards so I got to sleep on the lead Thursday night Friday night Saturday night and then Sunday um I obviously ended up in the playoffs so then got to sleep on it like one more yeah. night and so many people have asked me they're like how did you sleep that Sunday night you must have like did you get any sleep and I'm like I actually slept really good but that was because I'd already been sleeping on the lead right. for the last three nights. If I hadn't had that experience, it probably would have been very different uh, going to sleep on Sunday yeah. night. But I'm like, you know what? 
I've done all the hard work to get into this playoff now that I have nothing to lose. And it also helped that it was in B Park that I played against mm-hmm. and not like a less experienced player because I'm like, I'm not going to sit around and wait for her to make a mistake because she's yeah. not going to. Right. I'm going to have to step up and do something. And that yeah. kind of helped my mindset too. Um, uh, eight holes, right? Yeah. So we played four uh, holes on on Sunday. And the fourth one, it was it was dark. Yeah. Like we probably should never have played that that's one. That's all TVs don't do it justice, right? <laughs> like that's I'm, the people exactly. it's hard we to do. We always make fun of the commentators yeah. saying, oh, it's, you know, it's, it's darker than it actually looks. It was so dark. So the 18th hole there is a par five. Mm-hmm. And once it go, the sun goes down in Palm Springs behind the mountains, like it goes it's really gone. fast. Yeah. So they asked us after, I guess, three playoff holes, like, do you want to play one more? It was up to me Mm. and Imbi. And I think we were both so in the moment, just wanting to win it right there and then, that we're like, yes, both of us. Like, but by the time, it's a par five. So by the time they shuttle us back to the tee, Mm -hmm. hitting a drive, it was straight into the wind, so no one, none of us could reach it. We're laying up. I mean, it's a lot later. Like, it's so dark. So thanks to the... Uh, electronic scoreboard on 18 that gave us some light they brought in like another couple of lights too but I'm looking back at it I'm so glad that we both made par mm-hmm. and moved on because I feel like if Losing someone would have like won it or lost it in the yeah. dark it would have kind of been controversial like they shouldn't have played like it wasn't fair right so it it worked out good and then it came back Monday morning. Now we're finally playing the tenth hole because we so we played eighteen four times on mm-hmm. on Sunday, and it's I mean it's a sudden death. So we keep going. We play ten, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. I had I actually reached it in the morning, uh, but three putted. I mean I was a long way yeah. from the hole, but and a tricky first putt. But I probably had about an eight footer for the, with a chance to win there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was the seventh playoff hole. Missed it. That like, was the. F- is it there? Do you think it's going in like one of those, or no, you're like, ah? It was, it was like, th- it was the first three part of the week for okay. me. It was the first like bad nervy stroke all week. Yeah. It wasn't a very good putt, um, and then the next hole, we're back on the tenth again, eighth playoff hole. Uh, I drain a thirty footer. Yeah. And it, and I can still not celebrate because Imbi has a shorter bird, right. birdie putt and. She is. Do you use like fist pump? Are you going crazy? Yeah, I like I did a I did a fist pump, but like kind of stone face. Like I'm like yeah. I walk straight over to my golf bag, get my water bottle, like try to get my heart rate down. In my mind, I'm like, okay, you know, it's in like, She's it's making in this. She's yeah. gonna hold this. You know, I can't take anything out, and um, she missed it. So yeah. that's when oh, it still gives me chills. It's oh, so it's cool. awesome. Uh, yeah, I turn around to my husband, uh, fiance at the time. Uh, He's caddying for me, and I just looked at him, and I'm like, "We did it. We effing did it." Mm-hmm. Like, that's like yeah. all I'm like looking at, and yeah. it was it was so cool because I didn't think many people would come out Monday morning. Uh, I'm like, mm. people are back to work, and when we showed up at 8 a.m. that Monday morning, the 10th hall, it was people all the way down, and I had so much local support. Because, I mean, Americans in particular, they love an underdog story. Always. Uh, so it was, it was so cool. Uh, some of my friends had, they extended their stay, like some of the other players, some of my closest friends on tour, yeah. they were still there. And my parents were over from Sweden that week too. That's pretty uh, So then we got, they drove us back to the 18th green and we got to do the famous uh, leap into Poppy's yes. Pond. Yes, uh-huh. How was the, did you and Daniel do that together? And my parents. And your so, parents? Yeah, oh, brilliant. So it was the four of us. It was yeah. so funny. So my parents, Is it cold? No, it okay. felt great. If yeah. it had been like after the first playoff You'd hole, maybe yeah. like on Monday morning, it would have yeah. felt a little chilly, but I mean, we, we had been playing for an hour. It felt good. Yeah. But it was so funny. So Daniel and I must have been on one golf cart. My parents must have gotten back to the 18th green quicker than we did. Mm-hmm. And like we haven't, I mean, I haven't talked to them about like Anything. jumping in. Yeah. They're standing there without their shoes. They're like ready. <laughs> <laughs> like come on let's go uh, yeah. and then as we're on the cart driving back to the 18th green Daniel looks at me he's like so what are we doing like what kind of jump I'm like I don't care we're just jumping just, like yeah, as fast and as like, far as possible <laughs> exactly yeah. I'm like I put no thought into this yeah. he's like no no I'm diving I was like, okay, yeah, sh- I'm not, not like, no, 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 no. this like, is not. How great- deep is this pond right now? Like, mm. you don't want him to come up with a broken nose. Yeah, right? it's like 
four feet. So not diving. No, not it's, diving. it's yeah. like they're pretty big signs where it's like no diving, no diving, yeah. like all along it. And uh, little did I know at the time. So he slept terrible Sunday to Monday. Like he could not sleep. So he, at about three in the morning, apparently, I, mm. I'm a good sleeper, so I yeah. didn't know any of this. He woke up. He didn't want to wake me up. So he mm. went into the bathroom in our hotel room, sitting in there, Googling, like, best jumps into Poppy's Pond <laughs> at 3 a.m. in the morning. So he's like, <laughs> and he realized that no one has ever dove. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that's, so he uh, he's in. like, okay, that's what, that's what I'm going to do. He, and yeah. then he's like, you have had four days on the golf course to shine. Like, this is my moment. Uh, so uh, he... Um, and he said, you know, when I was a kid, we used to go on uh, vacation to Florida. I would dive uh, in the pool and I learned how to shallow it out when it's, when it's a shallow pool. Yeah. He's like, so I've been practicing this. He's like, I didn't know what I was practicing for, but he's like, this is my moment. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, me and my parents, we kind of just jumped. Nothing special. But, yeah, that was Daniel's moment. I have some excellent photos, like still photos of like the whole, the whole thing. The whole thing. Brilliant. What an experience, right? And, what yeah. feel, and the good thing is, like, to do that with, I know Dan was your fiancé at the time, but husband's on the bag. Like, yeah. that's special too, oh, right? It, like, those memories last forever. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it obviously, it would be so special with anyone, but it just, I mean, that just yeah. top, tops it off. Uh, so, yeah, to, it was pretty funny because people asked me, like, so how did you celebrate right after? I'm like, I won at, like, 9 a.m. on a Monday morning. <laughs> so by probably, yeah. it was probably 1 p.m. when I been doing media, media and all this stuff that I realized I'm like I'm kind of hungry so we drove to Chipotle and like <laughs> so uh, yeah and like uh, no one at Chipotle understands what you've been through that morning no, right exactly. you're just like I'll take extra guac today because I just want a major <laughs> like bank balance is going to be nice tomorrow yeah. morning and and then we were we were gonna I had an off week the week after and we were gonna spend it in Scottsdale mm-hmm. so we're driving from Palm Springs to Scottsdale about a four-hour drive that afternoon and if anyone has done it, it's, it's just desert. Yeah. It's nothing there. And I I'm keep getting these requests for interviews. So it's like, okay, Daniel, whenever we do find cell service again, we need to yeah. stop and like knock a few Radio of these interview, interviews yeah. and phone calls out. <laughs>